Richard Leakey, a well-known paleontologist, wrote that survival is not about being the strongest or the fastest, but about adapting to change. In nature, those who fail to evolve are left behind in the fossil records. Life has always been a game of survival. Every creature, from the tiniest insect to the biggest land predator, is in a constant battle to hunt, to escape, and to dominate. But what really makes a predator successful? Is it speed, strength, intelligence, or maybe something else entirely? Now think of some of the most famous predators we have today. Lions, wolves, crocodiles, they all have their own ways of ruling their territory. But let me ask you this, have you ever thought about hyenas? Surely they've got this weird reputation. Some people see them as scavengers, sneaky and always lurking. Others know them as powerful hunters, capable of taking down prey much more bigger than themselves. And then there's that laugh, halfway between a giggle and a maniacal villain plotting world domination. Well, what if I told you that millions of years ago, there was an animal that looked nothing like the hyenas we know of today, but in some ways played a similar role. An ancient predator that was stronger, larger, and much more terrifying than even the biggest lions. Firstly, the beast in question we are talking about is the Deodon, previously known as Dino Hyas, which translates to the terrible hyena. The story behind it having all of these names goes back to the 90s when many paleontologists have argued that Dino Hyas, Hollandi, and Deodon Shoshwansis are actually the same kind of animal. Nowadays, Deodon is the most common name because it was given the name first. Now, just looking at this creature is like entering a window into one of the wildest chapters of Earth's history. We're talking here about the early Miocene epoch, roughly 23 to 5 million years ago. Back then, North America was a very different place, teeming with all sorts of unique animals, and the Deodon was one of the standout giants of that time. With this in mind, why should we care about a massive extinct animal that roamed millions of years ago? The answer is quite simple. Studying creatures like this helps scientists piece together the puzzles of evolution. By examining its fossils, we can understand how certain species adapted to their environments, what roles have they played in their ecosystems, and how climates and geography influence their development. It's like detective work on a prehistoric scale. But what's more interesting about this so-called hyena is that it holds a unique spot for its classification in the grand family tree of mammals. It's part of a group called Entelodontus, which are often dubbed Terminator pigs. So in reality, there were more pigs than actual hyenas. But don't let this nickname fool you. These guys were no ordinary swine. They were more like an unexpected mashup of a pig's body with a carnivore's spirit, showcasing the incredible diversity of mammalian evolution. And they played a similar role as the modern day hyenas, which is the reason for their unique nickname. At the end of the day, they were practically hyenas, but very terrible ones. Without a doubt, Deodon was huge even for its time standing at about 1.8 meters tall at the shoulder and stretching up to 3.6 meters in length. It was comparable in size to a modern day bison, but with a much more intimidating presence. Estimates suggest it weighed between 450 to 600 kilograms, making it one of the largest land predators of its era. One of its most striking features was its massive skull, which could reach up to 90 centimeters in length. It also had long sturdy limbs, with the front legs slightly longer than the hind ones, giving it a sloping back. This limb structure suggests it was built for power rather than speed, favoring short bursts of activity over long chases. Unlike many other prehistoric carnivores, Dino Hyas had a distinctive hump on its shoulders, formed by elongated neural spines on the vertebrae. This feature may have supported strong neck muscles, aiding in taking down prey or scavenging carcasses. Additionally, its elongated snout and high set eyes means it had a keen sense of smell and a broad field of vision which are essential traits for both hunting and scavenging. To make things more clear, let's put this beast size into perspective. We all know lions are big. A fully grown male lion can weigh around 180 kilograms and stand about 1.2 meters tall at the shoulder. This is a serious predator. Despite this, our hyena could actually dwarf a lion. Imagine a living tank, if it walked past you, its back would be at eye level, and in terms of length, about the size of a small car. And when it comes to weight, we're talking about more than twice the size of a lion. Just imagine seeing something that size stomping around built like a war machine with a bone crushing bite. 
Compared to today's predators, this thing wasn't just big, it was a walking nightmare for anything that crossed its path. And just so you know, we're just getting started, because its size was only one part of what truly made this species so dangerous. Before we continue, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel, it goes a long way, and consider buying a coffee if you want in the description below. Anyways, let's continue the video. First things first, we already made it clear that our hyena was not technically a hyena. Sure, its reputation as a bone-crushing predator might make you think otherwise, but in reality, it wasn't even closely related. Hyenas belong to the order Carnivora, which includes dogs, cats, bears, and much more. Theodon, on the other hand, was part of a completely different group called the Entelodonts, as we previously said, but even calling them pigs isn't quite right. While they're distantly related to modern pigs, they were much more specialized predators and scavengers. So if Daedon wasn't a hyena or a type of pig, what actually was it? Let's think of it as a strange evolutionary experiment. An animal that had the bulk of a bison, the skull of a monstrous boar, and the eating habits of a scavenging predator. Evolution really got creative with this one. Early interpretations weren't always so accurate. When scientists first discovered Entelodon fossils, some assumed they were just oversized pigs that rooted around for plants. Others thought they were sluggish scavengers, waiting for something else to do the killing. But more recent studies have painted a very different picture. We can resume it in three major points. This thing wasn't actually slow. Its long, muscular legs suggest it could move surprisingly fast for its size. Maybe not cheetah level speed, but definitely quick enough to chase down prey if needed. It wasn't just a scavenger. While Dino Hyas probably took advantage of carcasses like modern hyenas, its powerful jaws, sharp teeth, and strong by force suggest it was more than capable of taking down live prey. It was bigger than early reconstructions had showed. Fossils proved it was a true giant, much larger than early estimates had suggested. Some of the first drawings made it look like just a big pig, but in reality, it was built more like a terrifying tank of muscle and bone. So just forget any images of a giant lazy pig wandering around the prehistoric plains. In the late 19th to early 20th centuries, paleontologists were uncovering all sorts of bizarre prehistoric creatures in North America. The first major fossils of this beast were discovered in Nebraska, South Dakota and Wyoming, regions that were once vast open plains teeming with ancient animals. One of the most famous discoveries comes from the AJ fossil beds, a site packed with prehistoric bones from all kinds of Miocene era animals. It was here that researchers found nearly complete skeletons of the dino highest. And unlike big cats or bears, this creature had a totally different approach to hunting and scavenging, one that blurred the line between omnivore and apex predator. That's why thanks to its discovery, we learned that dominant hunters didn't always have to be from the carnivora groups, and how evolution can create unexpected predator designs, proving that large powerful meat eaters didn't always have to be smaller than the prey they hunt, just to save energy. However, some scientists still believe it was more than just a cunning omnivore, while others argue that its powerful jaws and teeth point to active hunting. There's also been some back and forth on whether it truly was the last and largest of its kind, or if there were even bigger entelodonts that have not been found yet. Regardless of the debates and theories, one thing is clear, Deodon was a top tier prehistoric beast, and its fossils have helped reshape our understanding of what predators could look like in the distant past. If you look back at Deodon's skulls, the first things you'll notice is its massive jaws and ridiculously strong teeth. But unlike modern predators with large sharp fangs designed purely for slicing meat, Dino Hyas had a mix of different teeth, which tell us a lot about its diet. Their front teeth, which includes incisors and canines, were large and pointed, great for biting and tearing into flesh. That means it could definitely handle meat, whether from hunting or scavenging. Secondly, the molars and premolars were thick and flat with ridges made for crushing bones and grinding tough plants. This indicates Dino Hyas wasn't a strict carnivore. It probably ate whatever it could find, including roots, tough vegetation, and even bones. Finally, their massive jaw muscles meant insanely strong bites, strong enough to easily crack bones like a hyena does today or even better. So what did all of this mean for its diet? Well, from what we just saw, it was probably an omnivore that ate whatever was available. It could scavenge carcasses, hunt smaller or weaker animals, and even munch on plants if meat was scarce. In today's world, that would make it similar to bears or hyenas, which are both powerful predators but also won't turn down an easy meal. And let's not forget, a dino hyas lived in a world full of big herbivores. A creature this big and strong could easily bully smaller predators away from their kills, kind of like hyenas steal from lions in modern Africa. But we're not very sure if they did it alone or within herds. That's still one of the many unanswered questions about this beast. 
because unfortunately we don't have a Dinohyus fossil frozen in time showing us exactly how it acted. But we can still make some educated guesses based on what we know of today. Was it a pack hunter? Unlike wolves or lions, there's no clear evidence that Dinohyus lived in packs. Most fossils are found individually, not in groups. That means it was probably a solitary animal like modern bears roaming large territories alone. Did it actively hunt? While it probably wasn't the fastest predator, its strong legs and powerful bite mean they had the ability to ambush prey if given the chance. Think of it like a grizzly bear, not built for chasing, but more than capable of taking down something that got too close. How did it interact with other predators? Since it was one of the largest carnivores of its environment, smaller predators probably avoided direct conflict. If it wanted a meal, it could simply scare off other hunters. Its bone crushing bite also meant it could scavenge efficiently, cracking open bones that other predators left behind. Did it mark its territory? Yet, we don't know for sure if they controlled a territory. But considering how modern large carnivores behave, it's likely that it was territorial. It probably roamed a large hunting ground and didn't tolerate competition. If two Deodons ever crossed paths, it could have led some pretty brutal fights, especially considering how robust their skulls were. In a nutshell, it was an absolute menace inside its ecosystem. It was too big to ignore, too strong to challenge, and too adaptable to go hungry. It didn't need to be the fastest predator when it had brute strength and a bite force that could snap bones like twigs. Whether it was stealing kills, ambushing prey, or scavenging carcasses, it found a way to thrive. All in all, this wasn't just another predator, it was a prehistoric juggernaut. After everything we've discussed so far, one thing is clear, Deodon or Danohyus was a true anomaly of evolution, a creature that blurred the lines between scavenger and hunter. But what about the mystery of its extinction? For a predator this size and power, what could have led to its downfall? The most accepted theory is climate change and competition. As North America's ecosystem shifted, new predators and prey emerged, faster, more specialized carnivores like early canids started to dominate, and the massive herbivores began to disappear or evolve better defenses. Simply put, the world changed and Deodon didn't change with it. It's a reminder that in nature, being the biggest and strongest isn't always enough. Survival isn't just about power, it's about adaptability. And while Deodon ruled for a time, evolution had other plans. And remember, next time you think of hyenas as being scary, just be glad you never had to meet this one in the wild. See you next time in the next video in the wild past.